The AnyPoint connector for Salesforce is an easy to use solution that helps you quickly build Salesforce integrations for Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Salesforce Platform, or Force.com. In this video, we'll show you how it simplifies development by providing a comprehensive yet streamlined interface to all the Salesforce APIs. This connector is ready out of the box in MuleSoft's desktop IDE, AnyPoint Studio, as well as our web-based IDE, AnyPoint Flow Designer. Let's build a simple data sync use case using Flow Designer. Authenticating the connection is as easy as filling out a form. The Salesforce connector supports various authentication mechanisms supported by Salesforce, like Basic Auth or OAuth. As you fill out the details or pick a connection that IT has provided, you can test the connection without leaving the platform. Once authenticated, the Salesforce connector makes it easy to interact with your Salesforce org by providing you with a list of operations. The connector automatically chooses between the Salesforce SOAP API, REST API, Bulk API, and Streaming API. Based on the operation you choose, you can focus on the business requirements on hand. We want to fire this integration every time a new contact is created. To do this, we can select the on new object operation. The connector has built-in metadata propagation, which means all the standard and custom objects within your Salesforce instance are available to us to choose right here. Not only that, once you have chosen your entity or written your SQL pattern, the connector is also able to get the metadata about the fields being returned. This, along with the machine learning powered mapping recommendations, makes data transformations a breeze. Now, let's look at a use case for moving large data sets. In this example, we're uploading leads from a CSV file to Salesforce so that your sales team can follow up for qualification. This job gets triggered every time a new file is posted. The bulk upsert operation uses the Salesforce bulk API behind the scenes, so large amounts of data can be uploaded in batch jobs. Let's test this out by dropping a sample file. The checkboxes indicate the flow is being successfully triggered. If we go to Salesforce and look at the bulk jobs, a new job is created for the file we uploaded. Next, let's look at a more real-time integration. This example is listening to change events on the opportunity object within Salesforce using change data capture, which uses the Salesforce streaming API in the back end. It sends a Slack notification to congratulate the team when new deals are closed. Let's check it out. We'll switch to Salesforce and update the opportunity stage to closed one. We get a Slack notification immediately after we hit save. If we switch back to our flow, we can see that it was triggered. Finally, let's look at an example that modifies metadata within your org, making configuration changes based on external events. This integration is fired every time a new row is added into the customer database and automatically adds a new pick list value to your org. Let's look at the languages available in the contact form within Salesforce. It looks like Mandarin is not available as an option for the dropdown. Let's test our flow by passing Mandarin as a value. If we go to Salesforce Setup and refresh the page, we can see that Mandarin was added to the pick list and is now available through the form. From this demo, we saw how the AnyPoint connector for Salesforce easily authenticates within your Salesforce instance, provides one comprehensive interface across all Salesforce APIs, and has metadata propagation built in to accelerate development speed. With these features, teams have an easy-to-use connectivity solution that accelerates building enterprise-grade Salesforce integrations faster. To find out more information on the connector, go to mulesoft.com exchange and search for the Salesforce connector.